Hey guys, in this short video, I'm going to show you some of the plotting functions that Sage has, specifically some of those that are going to be most useful to us uh, during the semester. Okay, so I'm over here on uh, Sage Math Cell. Uh, first thing I want to do is define the function I want to plot. Let's pick something nice like a parabola, x squared plus 1. And the basic plotting function is very simple. Just plot the function and then the variable with respect to which you want to plot, and then evaluate, and you get a nice little picture here. So that's simple plotting. Uh, the next thing you, wanna, you might want to do is plot two functions on the same graph so, you know, for a comparison. So let's also define the function g of x 2 times x. So it happens that g of x is the slope of the function f of x at x equals 1. Um, so let's say we want to plot that. Sage has a very simple mechanism for doing that, which is just on that line, you plot fx, x, and then you just add plot g of x, x. Run that, and then you'll see that you have these two lines. This is the line I just put in, this is the other one. So first, the window here is not all that useful because where they intercept is right at the edge. So we can change the window by giving a range, let's say negative 2 to 2 on these two functions. So now we have a big enough window so we can see their intercept. So we can do a few more tricky things. Um, let's say we want to compare these two lines against each other. So we want to use a different line style for the second one. That's easy. You can just write li uh, line style. And there's a whole number of line styles to choose from. If you do dash, that's going to be the def default one. But if you do like a colon, you'll get a nice uh, dotted line. So now you have a nice dotted line you can compare between those two. So in addition to that, you can also add points. So let's say I want to add to this plot that specific pl point where these two functions intercept. That's pretty easy because you can just type point. And of course, you have to figure out what point you want. Um, in this case, I happen to know that the point is 1, 2. Uh, and I can make the size, uh, let's say 30. The sizes are, you know, are going to be, you're going to have to figure out on your own how big you want each size. But if I pick size 30, it makes a nice size dot so I can see that. Um, you can add all sorts of other things to this. For instance, you can add text to the plot by just typing text. Um, so Sage understands LaTeX if you know how to type in LaTeX. If you know, don't know LaTeX, um, LaTeX is just a way of typing mathematics and the shorthand for LaTeX is put dollar signs around math and then um, the system will interpret everything inside the dollar signs as nice pretty mathematics. So let's say that uh, I'm plotting this and the tangent line at the point one two and then I have to put a position for that text. This is going to be a little uh, guess and check but I've just I have figured out that if I put it at the point 1, negative 2.75, that's the center of the text. So I'll put the center of the text at the point 1, negative 2.75. And then I have to pick a font size. And I found out that font size 20 works pretty well for the situation. And then I can plot that. And then you see we have a nice descriptor of what's happening in the tangent line at 1, 2, interceptor right there. And then the two lines are clearly denoted separately. And you can share this so you can save this. Um, to your computer. So that's just simple plotting in Sage. It pretty much covers all the stuff that we're going to want um, for the kind of basic, basic analysis that we need to be able to do. Um, so hopefully this is going to be useful to you and thank you very much for watching. I will see you in class.